Hey there, thanks for tuning in to NewsLink Indiana. Chief Weather Forecaster Balance Salavari here with your Tuesday evening web weather update. Now, it's been a rainy day so far, and that's reflected by a flood watch in effect until 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. You can see, this is hugging that I-65, I-70 corridor. Regions to the southwest are under this flood watch. However, we could see that shift further northeast into our viewing area due to the amount of precipitation we have been seeing. Currently here on radar, we can see some heavier patches of showers starting to work their way in here within the past half an hour or so. Now, on the bigger picture, though, take a look at this system that's going to be working its way through the next 24 hours. Note the northeast motion of this. That's going to bring all this rain that's occurring towards St. Louis further up into our region within that next 24 hours. Now, up until midnight, we're going to see those showers sticking around all the way through some isolated showers. Don't expect heavy showers, however, continuous light rain all the way throughout. Currently, though, we're sitting at 56 degrees. You can see that rain on radar. Note all the um, wet roads outside winds southwest at seven miles per hour. Not significant winds, but still present. And through the overnight hours, we'll see the winds pick on up, ranging between 15 to 20 miles per hour. We can see gusts reaching anywhere upwards of 20 miles per hour. Overnight low, 44 degrees, and that rain continues through the overnight hours. And again, on precision cast, we'll see that rain stick around. It's picking it up at 10 p.m. Know these areas of darker greens and sometimes yellows. That's going to indicate where those heavier patches of rain are going to be occurring. And then by 6 a.m., you can see some clearing conditions start to set off further northwest of Indianapolis. And then through tomorrow, once those showers push their way through, we're going to be left with overcast skies all the way through 6 p.m. So for tomorrow, it's going to be relatively mild overcast conditions, though, with a high of 57 degrees, winds dying back down 5 to 10 miles per hour. One more look at precision cast. We'll see the clear. Wednesday followed by a wet Thursday yet again by 6 p.m. Some more widespread showers returning into the forecast. We could see a rumble or thunder of two throughout Thursday, but don't expect a washout on Thursday by any means. Now, precipitation totals through Thursday by 6 a.m. About half an inch here in Muncie. We could expect another quarter of an inch or so throughout Thursday afternoon. And then this five day precipitation chances were pretty active in terms of rain. 70% chance for rain on Thursday for tomorrow, though. That's going to be through those morning hours, as you saw in precipitation. Precision cast, then we'll see overcast skies throughout. Rain works its way back in on Saturday, though. However, temperatures are going to be quite uh, comfortable throughout the seven day forecast. Above average for this time of year, average is 52 degrees. So 57 again for tomorrow, working our way back up to 60 degrees by Thursday. Coldest day is on Saturday. Next chance for rain, though, on Saturday after this system that we're seeing right now works its way on through. And then clear conditions for Sunday and Monday before a 20% chance of rain on Tuesday with a high of 50 degrees. Make sure to give us a follow on Twitter at NLI Weather.